Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Overcrowd where we're jumping back into our Let's Play network. Uh, in the last one we got put into the lane, set up and running. We can move on to Joker's turn, but uh, what I'm thinking might be more beneficial is actually coming back to one of these smaller zone fives and getting ourselves some easy procurement points because the procurement points... Uh, I believe, do sort of carry on over and things you unlock with them carry on over into the... Um, why is there a beef eater there? <laughs> we carry on, uh, not a beef eater, sorry. Uh, oh, we were talking about this the other day. What are they called, the ones with the big hats? The, the, the Queen's Guards with the tall hats. Right, I think we think they're just called Queen's Guard. Beef eater's always the short hats. We were talking about it the other day and I can't remember why now. Uh, so, two tracks, uh, an entrance, uh, an entrance. So, I reckon we get Black Line... Uh, from Middle Street up and running quick, or oh, actually no, Brindle Street to what line is that? The yellow line is going to be much quicker, isn't it? So, edit floor. Let's take that floor all the way down there. Won't carry it on because, well, we just there's no point. We can save some money there with that. Um, we can bring the entrance up this way, but we can get rid of some of this. We don't need all of this here, so. Let's take it to uh, there and there, and we're and we're going to keep this super crazy simple. We're just going to get up this basic one, get the platform, uh, get the entrance, and hit the footfall target. That that's all. That's all I'm aiming to do here. So entrance, boom. Uh, let's go for platform one. Uh, oh, there we go. Maximum two carriage, add two more cells for one carriage. No, that's all we want for now is a two carriage platform. Um, then we want some turnstiles in and out here. Uh, one, two. We're going to need some fences either side of those because they're a little bit longer than I thought they were. Um, okay, we'll do a trash can there and we'll do one on this side as well. Uh, we'll have some... We'll have a little bit more platform here. Let's see how quickly we can get this set up. This will be this will be a fun uh, test. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, we'll do a plant. Sure. Let's. Where's a good place for a plant? There. Every single person who walks through the place is going to see that plant, which is good. Uh, ticket machines. We'll get two um, here and here. Okay, so utilities, we'll worry about that in a moment. Tools, we'll worry about that in a moment as well. Newspaper stand always makes good cash. Let's get one. Uh, I think we'll keep it this side, and we'll probably have it over here. I, well, they never used to have staff on those, but that's fine. And then that's the uh, the staff room. So as far as the stuff needed for passengers, as it stands, that's all we have and can put down. So floor-wise then, let's get some tools and some staff. So we'll do a six uh, by five room there and another one there. Okay, and these can be our three rooms. So where are those? Where do we find those? Infrastructure, here we go. So staff room, got to have somewhere you can chill out for the day, eh? So that's there with a the door. Um, we need a utility room, which can go there with a door, and we need a tool room, which can go there with a door. Nice. So, in the amenities, we will get a couple of comfy chairs, we'll get a snack machine and a water machine, and that's pretty much all they get. Tools-wise, we're definitely going to need a jerry can, we're going to need a tool kit, we're going to need a little picker, in fact, I might even put two of those down. Um, and a watering can because we do have that one plant. So I'm not worried about megaphones for now. Uh, utilities, level one generators. One, two, three. I feel like four should be enough for this little setup and some fuel for them. Uh, we need a wheelie bin for the waste and uh, map platforms to a numeric key press, making platforms easier. That sounds good. Let's. Must be in a control. Oh, it's a separate room. Okay, we won't worry about that. We can do trains automatically ourselves. Uh, I mean, not automatically ourselves. Uh, okay, that's all that then. So let's set up the actual platform run now then. So let's set the alight point to that side. And we'll set that destination to be platform one. And we'll set that destination to be exit. Uh, you can now open your station. Yeah, I believe we can. So let's get some of our staff in. Off shift. 
to your station is open. Okay, so open. And we'll put both our staff on shift. So, does our priorities run over? Yes, they do. So the only thing we haven't done then is is set uh, is set their points to be somewhere a bit more. Oops. Are you, can you not until you're rested? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Whatever. So people are coming in. They're having a little think about what's going on. I think otherwise we're doing okay. There is a there is a speed up, isn't there? Fast forward. Cool, there's the train. So we'll bring the train in. There we go. Six of eight. So let's have a look at our procurement. Current bonds four and available in this zone 14. So we can't do another train until the next zone, all that's the next zone. But we can do a staff only zone. Let's have a look. We can do is this all locked off until the next zone? Did you hear that motorbike go past there? That was a noisy one, wasn't it? Utilities. Okay, so there's a few utilities, so we can do a fan. Uh, is there anything else going to be available? Let's have a look. Next zone. Next zone. Oh, there's signal and placement available. So if it's a locked thing, we can't get it at all. But if we have the bonds, we can we can get those. So there is one. Uh, two. Newspaper ad. Oh, they're good. Yeah, we'll get those. They make good money. I mean, it's all they did do in the in the base anyway. So there is a few things to do. So it is worth, yeah, I'll bring another train. It is worth playing this through. But to be honest with you, I'm hoping if I've set this all up pretty well, there really shouldn't be much to um, to look at. So I'm just going to play um, until this entrance hits our footfall target, which is when which we're halfway there already. And we're done. We hit that pretty easily. Pretty much just let it run. To be honest with you, with a small setup like this, it's very easy to do. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to save it because I don't, I don't know how that works. And then how do we get back to the, is it that one, is it? Yeah, there we go. So to map, there we go. Pay to map, to map. So that's going to have opened up zone four there, Blenden Park. Um, oh, do you know what? I'm really tempted to do that here as well, just because it's helped me unlock a few things. I'm going to do it here real quick. Uh, as well. Let's have a look. Obviously, you won't really have to see any of this because um, it is a relatively... Look at that setup. That's awesome. Look at the plants and the uh, fountains and everything. What a cool station. Okay, so I'm going to guess this is again two and one. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm going to get this one. Build one platform before you finish. Yeah, this will take me two minutes. Okay, again, another nice and easy one. Basically the exact same layout as last time. And just left it running until uh, until they were all done. So uh, to the map. That I don't think that one gave me anything. That I don't think I got any extra bone bonds or anything. Like that I think I've capped out the zone five bonds now. So uh, we'll get started on one of our zone four ones. We've got Blenden Park, or we've got Joker's Turn, or we've got Tarka's Paddock. Um, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go Joker's Turn just because that was the first one we did, right? So uh, oops, I'm gonna start up here. And the other thing is as well is if you're new to the series, new to the game. Uh, they all add new stuff as well, right? So it's not just that we have people who get through and uh, and and go. That you know, we we, we start with diseases. We start with um, uh, the bit like people being in and coming in and being naughty and stuff. You know, like uh, they come in and uh, we need security or what have you. Um, so here we need to do two platforms. So let's try and see. See, I'm still thinking these two overground. The green line and brown line is probably the way to go. Um, the entrance wise what have we got we've got one entrance dunman street here uh or we've got green line and uh green lane sorry and money street a level below and also there's a track below as well so let's come around here because that's going to be the angle we're really working on with that that track's gonna be tricky there i think uh but yeah so here um here seems to be the obvious start is dunham street so let's bring some uh so basically, you have to you have to take your floor from somewhere there's already floor. Okay, so we'll get rid of that now. So here's going to be the entrance, and we're going to have a lot more people coming in here eventually. Okay, so we do need to think about footfall and making sure we've got lots of wide spaces. So I'm actually going to bring the entrance here to more this kind of size. 
So we've got plenty of room to play with. Um, and then we'll we'll start to bring it down a little here into what will eventually be the track. And the only other thing I really want to make sure is that I've got a lot of scope for increasing this track at some point because um, you know we can we're going to be able to have more carriages here. So I'm going to leave this relatively open, and then the plan will be to be able to eventually have a corridor down here that goes um, that goes over this track here, right? So that's that's going to be the plan, I think, and we can have a we can have uh, bridges there. You see, so but we're not going to worry about that just yet. Um, but what that basically means is we're going to have a fenced area here with with ticket booths that are going to go through to multiple uh, spots, I think. Or maybe we don't have to have a fence. Maybe we can just have a bit of a gap there. Yeah, and then we can have in and out there for one. It's going to be it's going to be really cramp that isn't it so one two one two five so let's make it five gives me a little bit more room okay let's try that for now so we can say our entrance is here um we won't need any fences we won't need any foot bridges we do need a platform so this makes that line active basically so that's a max three carriage already that's good so we'll we'll go for that for now because i'm gonna i'm gonna guess that that's the best we can do here anyway uh as far as uh, tool rooms go. I think if we do three, six, nine, the goose drank wine, that's probably not a bad start off for our rooms. So we'll say tool, we'll say uh, staff, and we'll say control. I didn't make a different order this time, but that's cool. Um, no, utility, sorry, that should have been. Oh, well, maybe we need to build a utility room as well. Because we could start having a control room here, which um, which allows us to automate the trains arriving. So let's do that. Utility and tool room can then be next to each other, and that makes a little bit more sense. Okay, cool. Right, we'll go for that, and we'll see how we get on. It might be a little cramped here. We may have to jiggle some of these rooms around, but for now, that's not so bad. So let's light the place up, because I always forget to do that. I forgot that on the last level, and it made people sad and mad. I mean, luckily, we can put the lights on there, which is neat. So turnstiles, we'll have one there, one there. The ticket machines, we'll have a ticket machine there, and we'll have two over here. Gives people a little bit more room to play with. Okay, a couple of trash cans, and then benches. They always seem to want a silly amount of benches, despite, like, you wouldn't normally hang around, personally. You know, like you get your ticket and you go through, don't you? But they seem to want it. Um, this we're gonna have to ex we're gonna have to expand that, aren't we? Because it's gonna be too much of a squeeze otherwise. But we can do, and it's not that much of an issue. So one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. We'll do them like that. Uh, we can get our trusty plants in there that everyone sees. Uh, okay, so for. Tool wise, we'll go fuel barrel, generator, 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 generator. And this is really your sort of standard setup, right? This gets everything running. These generators will not manage a second platform, all right? So that is definitely something we've got to make sure we know about. Connect this device to a platform to schedule trains to call there automatically at regular intervals. Okay, I want one of those. There we go. It seems expensive, but I think it's going to be worth doing. It may well mean that we don't have enough power, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, so the tools then. We need a jerry can. Uh, we need a tool kit. We need two litter pickers. I think this so far and a watering can. That's getting, that's a decent start for us there. Uh, newspaper stand. Where, where are they going to be able to buy their newspapers? They can buy the newspapers there. And the newspaper ads. Three there two there these these just basically make money now we don't have enough money to do anything else which is a bit of an issue so i'll tell you what we're going to do we'll sell this now i how do we sell things i genuinely can't sell there we go i knew there was a button for it somewhere we'll get rid of that that's a grand it's really not needed right now i'd rather in fact get a fence there um and i think we're good to go we've got lights we've got Tickets, turnstiles, obviously we need to set the turnstiles up so that can be there. I always make the exiters uh, walk further. Um, okay, 
I think we can open that and we'll get our staff members in to get started. And then the only thing I think we have to do is we have to give our staff members their uh, points. So we're going to put them here and here so they're sort of a good central unit. Uh, but other than that, I think that's okay for a start. I mean, if we're really short on cash, we can we can sell some ticket machines. We don't really need three. I'm just kind of planning for a little bit of increased uh, scope size, you know. So I'm going to bring that train in. While I do that, I've got a feeling... Uh, what do we need there? Uh, one more bond to unlock. Right, so we're earning bonds by having 24 people travel, which is fine. So stock two, medium efficiency capacity. So that one increases the capacity per carriage that one increases how many carriage you're allowed personally both of them are just as useful um and they're going to be the first thing we do because as far as i'm concerned do don't do it don't do it it's not worth it it's not worth it my friend oh god i'm calling the train i've got people to move you need to shift there you go right what was i saying oh yeah the carriage is <laughs> um can increase in size and obviously you can have more size as well so there we go we've got a couple of bonds there so i'm going to come in and i'm going to first of all grab the oh we can't do that one yet that's more bonds okay well three carriages is procure there we go uh excuse me we found a rat so the problem is i don't think we have the rat catching tool where is it rat prod oh we have it procure okay so there you go there's our first new tool uh, let's have a look. Tools, rat prod. Nice. Good name for a band, rat prod. So, I wonder if... Uh, there we go. I wonder if... Oh, we're starting to run out of power already, look. See, that's what I mean about the power. It's uh, it's expensive. But one thing I can... I do think we can get hold of is a better generator That's that's basically the same size but uh but better quality there we go that should be the pair so there we go we've got three trains now obviously that probably increases the uh the thingy there so there's a radio station rats make your commuters ill exterminate with a staff equipped with a rat pod so can i just i want you to see that that mouse so you haven't seen that mouse so do i have to give you the ability to do it I mean, rats are high priority, right? There we go. Now gone to get the rat prod. Just one of you can get it. It's okay. One of you can get it and prod the rats. Boom. And another one. Boom. There we go. Okay. That's fine. As long as one of you are on top of it, that's fine by me. Uh, somebody, what on earth has happened there? Somebody has just been completely knocked out. So there you go. So, God, they throw these at you, don't they? First aid. Heal, injured or sick. How can you just have a heat stroke? Def defib? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that it's first aid, but I think first, I thought first aid was the one where they, uh, where they're like actually sick. They walk around being sick. I don't think necessarily KO. No, they've gone for the kit. Yeah. Okay. So first, first aid. Helps. Oh, oh, you okay? There we go. <laughs> oh, she slipped. That's why she slipped. So we need the mop. We haven't got the bonds for the mop. People are going to keep slipping on there. Oh, no. Some of them slip. Some of them don't. Oh, another train. Uh, okay, God, it really throws a lot of new stuff at you. So we've got rats. We've got and, and mops, I guess, are the two, the two new things we should have got down. But then obviously we need first aid as well. Otherwise, I feel like it's going well. People are moving to the station. Um, money's coming in. We're earning money. We're not losing money, which is good. And no, I can't see anyone sort of point out about crowdedness yet, which is good. We need one more person shifted to get some more bonds. There we go. So let's have a look. Just before we do that, let's have a look. So we, we need more, lots more bonds to do that. But for now, we, we need that mop because, yeah, we've got it. We've got to... Think small, right? Before we start thinking big. So level eight mop. There we go. And then again, we'll pop that onto the list. And I'm actually quite happy for all of these to be level one because 
if there's crap on the floor you clean it up that's first things first okay then repairs and f refueling and then if you've got time afterwards you can plant uh, plant things where the hell did they just pop out from all right who's got the rat see roberts has got both the rat pod and the mop which isn't great they should go and put the tools back when they don't need them anymore. Uh, oh, no, train. Ah, forgot about that one. Uh, we could probably afford the, the signaler, to be honest. We've got a grant of a grand then for doing some entrances, for having the entrance fully uh, you know, working. So I'm going to say that we could put a sig signal in here. So signal automation, connect this device to the platform to schedule trains to call there automatically at regular intervals. Oops. Oh, here, and then it goes to there. Arrival minutes past the hour. Well, I... Arrives in four minutes, okay. Oh, okay, so we want it on the... Yeah, on the hour. There we go. Last train of the day, I think this will be. Right. Can register a train type stock one. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't come exactly when it's ready to come. It comes on the hour. So there might be a stage where people are sort of standing around a little bit more. But it's just one less thing for us to worry about, right? So so four carriage train, we're not getting in this zone. We can get that second stock and we can get that second platform as well, which is important. So let's jump forward through today. There we go. Train's here. Good, okay. Ready and willing there. So all you come on through. So I feel, oh, excuse me. I feel like, um, I wonder if there's a better PA system. Because the one we got wasn't very good. So what does this do? Level 2 sensors take up less space, use less power, and are more reliable. Oh, that's nice. We've got a level 2 plan. We've got a level 1 map. That's for people who are getting lost. We've got a better bench, better bin, and toilets. Okay, so we've got loads of things we can unlock here. Um... I was just wondering, let's have a look, PA, level 2 PA is not available in this one, so I was, I was thinking about that first, but for now on then we'll do, we'll do a better bench, that's always going to help, right, and we'll do a level 1 map, because it'll start throwing us lost people soon, if we're not careful, so, facilities, level 1 map, what we'll do is we'll, oh, it's on the wall, oh, I could have sworn it was a thing that, uh, that wasn't on the wall last time. <laughs> uh, it's one over there by the tickets, that makes sense. Okay, now benches, do they look better? Oh, they do look a bit better. So, are we going to get in trouble for selling these benches during the daytime? No, it doesn't look like we are. That's good. So, what we can do is just start replacing those benches with nicer benches straight away. I know you get, um, you get penalties for moving stuff during the day. But it doesn't seem... You get penalties for selling and buying better stuff, which is good. Oh, someone's on the bump. A body? It's not a body, guys. It was just knocked out, all right? Where's the staff? Are oh, they both on auto rest? <laughs> well, you know, you need a break. They'll be all right there for a minute, I'm sure. <laughs> right, uh, benches. I don't think, feel like these benches aren't getting used much, but I'm going to put them in anyway. Just because they're done there, right? I smell a rat. Yeah, I smell a rat. There's rats, there's mop. There's things need mopping. Come on, staff. Let's get back to normal, please. Tempted to take another member of staff on. Can't, have we got a member of staff? Oh, we have as well. Look. We don't have the money. Oh, chill out. It's only a mouse. Jeez. I'm like you've never lived in London before. They're everywhere. Yeah, you need to come off your rest now, folks. Yeah, you, the, it's, this place is starting to get a bit of a mess. Sneezing. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Let me say resting. Where where applicant schedules? You're not on auto rest. Come on. It matter work. No 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 no. You're not on. You're not on auto rest. No. Go get some stuff done. Lazy so and so's. Come on. We we got people on the ground. We got we got rats. We've got splodges of crap everywhere. <laughs> 
That's it. Sophie Roberts has leveled up. Nice. So what did that mean again? There's a, I think there's something we can do, Roberts. Can we click her and give her the option for something? Yeah, here we go. So let's make her quicker. That's that's good, right? Okay. So a lot of people who are sick. What are you doing, white? Can you get over here and see what's going on? There we go. Mops. Is that is everyone going home? Okay, that seems like a averagely successful day. I'm hoping these pair get finished up now. Now, now you can rest. Now I'll put back on auto rest, right? And you can go and rest, and I'll leave you resting overnight. Okay, so... Oh, did we not give them... We haven't really given them anything to rest with. That's probably what's not helping. Sorry, gang. Uh, there we go. There's a chair. There's a vending machine and a water cooler. Sorry, team. That's really is my fault. I do apologize. Okay. So they can get rested up now. No wonder they were just sat there all day. I was going to say, normally they're pretty good workers, right? Um, let's see. We've got upgraded benches. We've got... Oh, we have got some bonds as well. So that means we should be able to do the uh, the train uh, thingy. I'm going to do that one. So that means that just more people... This will be a new train now. The, 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 a better looking... Oh, calm down. Look, she sat there cry eating. Look, we've all been there, eh? Um, they'll look a bit nicer and they will just get more people in the door as well. So that I means it's just an all-round win, right? More people coming through the door. More people getting on each train. I mean, it really is just the way to go, I think. So, um, I will uh, I will let these sleep, but I'll push forward. Okay, here's the new train. Don't look at the rest of the place. <laughs> so these two are just, like, stuck on a rest. Like, they're not doing anything. They're just relaxing because of this minus one stamina. I, I, I feel like I'm going to have to take them off thingy rests again because they just don't seem to do anything. And the place is becoming a mess. There's people on the ground. There's litter trays everywhere. There's people falling over. I put an extra member of staff there and an extra mop as well. So I'm going to hope in people come in and, and get started on that and get on top of it. I don't feel like this is a three staff level right now. But I feel like uh, at the moment we need that third one. There's a the new train. Look at that. Sexy, eh? That's a nice looking new train. And it now does 15 people rather than 12. So it's just one more person a carriage. So it's not a crazy upgrade, but you know, these little things all do matter. There we go. Staff are getting back on top of stuff now, which is good. Uh, okay, things are getting repaired. All right, nice. Okay, so we, we only dropped like 2% um, uh, reputation there. So that's not too bad. So to finish this one... We need to um, build a second platform, all right, which we can't really afford yet. But we might have the bonds to get it open. Yeah, platform two. There we go. Uh, and we've still got two bonds. So let's see if there's something little we can do. We don't need staircases yet. Because um, we're only doing two levels here. Okay, so here we go. We've got some bonds. We can do a level two turnstile. Uh, I mean, I'll go for those if they're smaller. Let's try those out. Let's see. Infrastructure. No. Utilities. Level 2 turnstile. Oh, it's just like a nice one-way system. Look at that. So we could get four along there. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four. For basically the same amount of, uh, of power. So for probably about the same amount of power. So I'm going to sell those. Um, and I, I think that we need to now shift this trash can. Which we can't because it's empty. Okay, you've got a litter picker. Can you empty that for us? Okay. So let's go back to those. Level two. So we can do one, two, three, four. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? I like those. Okay, so you are both going to the platform. You are both going to the exit. There we go. So we basically doubled our capacity there as well, which is cool. 
So exit, exit, and then platform, red platform, red platform. Um, we lost trash can, but I don't think that was a crazy problem. I'm now just going to go back to staff, and I'm going to put, uh, again, put auto rest back on. And I imagine we probably need a third comfy chair. I want, it, I want it so that all of our staff can sit down at once. I'm nice like that, even though... Uh, they probably won't want to because basically this stamina one here, this despair, is is making uh, their stamina not be able to be refilled. I don't think I have anything. Uh, staff despair increases when they're very thirsty, hungry or tired or when they fumble at doing a job. If this is 100%, they will quit. There we go. But it looks like under 50, their, their stamina fills back up again. So, okay. So under 50, which is slowly coming down. What's that at? 52. I know that UI is a bit hard to see. I apologize. Um, they should be all back to work and they can go back on to... Um, they can go back on to... Uh, regular auto rests. Okay, so I'm going to let them relax through the night and then hopefully we'll have one more day. So at the end of that next day, the main things uh, that we're losing rep on is bad shopping range and no toilets, interestingly. So I think before we move towards a second platform, maybe we can look at fixing that. So there's the toilets. Um, that gives us four bonds left. Let's have a look. Commerce, what have we got? Cash machine, crisp machine. Um... Uh, more ads okay so are these all one bond okay so what about the crisp machine um oh that's only one bond as well okay nice so cash machine i won't do cash machine let's do crisps ad sure drinks ad nice uh atm ad i do they do i think do they make people use them more or is it just for paying out cash okay well hold on hold on hold on i'm still working here uh, Chris machine. Okay, so let's get one of those there. Nice. And we'll put a crisps ad right next to it. <laughs> uh, we can do drinks ad and drinks ad there. ATM ad. Can get down there. Why not? Um, okay. Instagrub. Instagrub. Can we get some Instagrub crisps. What's the ATM say? Swiss bank. Nice. Um, there's mice already. Come on, folks. Get on your rat prods. They're there. Look, they're on it already. Okay, these three members have... Maybe three is right. Maybe three is right. We're, we're, we're earning money slowly, but the rep's going up, and uh, and everyone's keeping keeping on top of things. So, yeah, I think uh, I think three staff is correct for this one. So, we're going to leave it there. Uh, next one, we're going to set up our next platform. We're going to have um, we're gonna have some more turnstiles down here. That's going to take us across a bridge over to this one here. And then maybe we could look at doing some stairs up and down to these places as well um, before we finish. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.